you pink amazing friends out there. I'm Pinkalicious and this is my little brother, Peter. Also known as Peterific, which rhymes with terrific. Welcome to our podcast where we play our favorite songs and do pinkatastic things together. Like getting creative and using our imagination. When you use your imagination, anything is possible. So get creative with us if you can, okay? In the car, at home, in your yard, or wherever you are. Oh, hi everybody. I was just drawing a picture of a rainbow with my crayons. I'm trying to find the most pink of perfect activity for when my friends Jasmine and Raphael come over. Hi, Peter. Hey, Pinkalicious. Whoa, that's an awesome rainbow. Thanks. I was just telling our listening friends that I'm trying to come up with the perfect thing to do with Raphael and Jasmine when they come over. I thought about playing dress up, but couldn't find my favorite tiara. And then I thought about drawing a rainbow, but we did that yesterday. I even tried making up a song on my xylophone, but couldn't decide on the perfect tune. Those all sound like fun ideas to me. They are, but today I want to do something new. I want it to be something really special. Hmm, how about making a volcano out of clay? (laughs) Oops, or a pancake? (laughs) Sounds messy. Or making a spaceship using my blocks. Take me to your leader. (laughs) Oops. Those are fun ideas. Listening friends, I'm sure you're all really creative too. What do you like to do? Oh, playing basketball, decorating cookies, dressing your stuffed bear for a picnic. Those all sound like so much fun. Yes, and I want to do every single one. Hey, that rhymed! Wait, Peter, you just gave me a pink amazing idea! What? Rhyming! The words fun and one rhymed when we said. Those all sound so fun! I want to do every single one! I did rhyme that time! (gasps) I did it again! And I wasn't even trying! I think I could rhyme all day long! Then how about we sing a rhyming song? Let's do it! (laughs) I love to rhyme, I rhyme all the time. Mop, top, clippity-clop. Once I start, it's hard to stop. Hop, bop, drop, pop. A pie in the sky beside a butterfly. Pie, sky, butterfly. I spy, tie, side. High, fi, shy, sly, wide. song. (laughs) Listening friends, can you think of some words that rhyme? Shoo, glue, moo, uh, 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 (laughs) choo. Rhyming sure is fun, and we should definitely rhyme during our playtime with Jasmine and Raphael. But we still need something new to do. I bet if we looked around the house, we'd find all kinds of interesting things to do. Great idea, Peter. Let's go look. Anything seem interesting here in the kitchen? No, just a bunch of pots and pans Daddy just washed. Wait, we can use them to make music. I'll use these pots as my drum set and you can use those pans. Woohoo! 
watch me play super loud. What should we do now? Let's go outside and see what else we can do. Oh, Peter, look! Some new flowers have bloomed in the garden. I like flowers, but watching flowers doesn't sound that interesting. Hmm. Oh, I know. How about we do cartwheels? Woohoo! <laughs> <laughs> Wait, I know. Looking at flowers can be extra special when you're upside down. <clears throat> nice headstand, Pinkalicious. What do the flowers look like when you're standing on your head? They look pink amazing. Try it, Peter. Okay, here I go. The amazing upside down boy. <laughs> whoa, whoa. Ooh. <laughs> Let me try that again. <sighs> you're right, Pinkalicious. Everything is flipped. When you're upside down, I spy clouds and a real rainbow. Friends, have you ever tried looking at the world upside down? What do you see? Oh, I spy the rainbow too. Give it a try, but be careful you don't fall over or get dizzy. <laughs> upside down is so much fun. Let's sing a song about being upside down now. Right side up is how I dance, but I'll give side to side a chance. Then it's just a few steps more. Now the ceiling is the floor. Upside down, upside down. What's more fun than upside down? I see things so differently When my feet are where my head should be When right side up seems ordinary It's time to be extraordinary I just turn the world around Till I'm dancing upside down Upside down, upside down What's more fun than upside down? I see things so differently When my feet are where my head should be So much that I've never seen Up and down and in between Upside down, upside down What's more fun than upside down? I see Everyone? Uh, I think I'm ready to be right side up now. <laughs> Me too. <sighs> <sighs> Looking at things upside down gave me another idea. What? Let's make a life-size rainbow with colored chalk or paint. Or clay or collage. <laughs> <laughs> or even frosting. Now that's fun. What do you think, friends? How would you make a rainbow? Those are some pink amazing ideas. And now to make our rainbow extra special, let's make it colorific. Let's sing the colorific song for our listening friends. I'd love to. Here it goes. A touch of pink here, a dab of red there, some violet too, just in case. A dab of blue here, Touch of green there, and the world's a happier place. Let's make it more colorific, cheerful, sunny, and bright. The colors oh so pink, terrific, it'll be a fantastical sight. A rainbow of colors, beautiful as can be. A rainbow of colors for everyone to see. over here, a dash over there, on a tree, a flower, a star, a dash over here, a splash over there, color makes it better by far.
<laughs> Great singing, everyone! I can't wait to make the most colorific rainbow ever! Here comes a big pink rainbow stripe with my pink chalk! Mmm! That looks pretty pink delicious. Are you eating a cupcake, Peter? Yes! I loved your frosting idea! So we asked Daddy to help me make a rainbow cupcake! And it was delicious! Here's one for you! And I even have enough for our listeners! Enjoy! Yumalicious! Thank you, Peter! <laughs> well, I'm so glad you found a way to be creative with your snack. <laughs> I think it was my best idea yet. How about you, listening friends? What creative idea did you love the most today? Yes! Seeing the world upside down today was the best! I loved banging on pots, too. It sure has been fun getting creative with you today. Thanks for sharing all of your exciting ideas, too, listeners. Oh, look! Here comes Jasmine and Raphael. We're going to have a pink, amazing, creative, delicious play date today. I hope you have one, too. See you next time, everyone. Bye-bye. Thanks, everyone, for singing with us. Before we go, I want to introduce you to a special friend of mine, the author and illustrator of the Pink Alicious book series, Victoria Ken. Thanks for inviting me to your show. I was hoping that you might answer some questions from some of our listening friends. Would you? Of course. That would be fantastic. Hi, my name is Sheila. I live in Jakarta. And my question is, why you want to be an artist? Oh, thank you so much for your wonderful question. Well, I became an artist because I always enjoyed making things. When I was a kid, I had a dollhouse and made all the furniture in it from all the various things around the house. For example, bottle caps became dishes, and I had a little box which held note cards, and that became a bed. And I used fabric to turn it into bedding, and I even made curtains. I made clothing for my dolls and stuffed animals. I also loved to draw and would draw people wearing what I thought were very fashionable outfits. I always thought being an artist would be lots of fun because you basically create whatever you imagine. There are no limitations. You know, you can be an artist too. All you have to do is use your imagination. What would you like to create? Thanks, Victoria. That was pink -orific. Thank you, Pinkalicious. It's always fun to think pink with you. Do you have a question you'd like Victoria to answer? Have a parent send a voice recording of your question to Pinkalicious and Peterific at WGBH.org. So that's our show, and thanks for listening. If you liked it, we hope you'll subscribe to it. Just ask a grown up to help you. That way, you won't miss anything. You can hear all our songs and do all the fun stuff. For even more fun stuff, Sign up for our weekly activity series, too. It's a free email that shares something pink amazing to do along with each episode. Tell your grown-up to sign up now at gbh.org slash pinkalicious. The Pinkalicious and Peterific podcast was produced for PBS Kids by GBH in partnership with Hothead Creative Studios and PRX. It's based on the best-selling book Pinkalicious by Victoria Ken and Elizabeth Ken. Remember, if you like this, then you'll pink a lot of our PBS Kids show and all the games on pbskids.org. Bye! See you soon! GBH Kids.